Hello and welcome to Devotions for Tuesday, September 15th. Joining me today is our new interim pastor, Pastor Glenn Bickford, and I already wrangled him into sharing a devotion with us, but it sounds like he has much experience doing that. But I'm going to turn it over to him, but first he chose a, a verse from Romans chapter 8, verse 28, and it reads, We know that all things work together for good for those who love God who are called according to his purpose. As Becky said, I have a lot of experience in devotions. I'm kind of a ringer because, as it turns out, I've been doing devotions for Augsburg Press for about 10 years now. A while back, I was traveling in the Mississippi River Valley west of La Crosse on Interstate 90. As I descended to the river, a magnificent bald eagle swooped down from the skies grabbed a roadside rabbit in its talons, and nearly struck my car. I was able to look the eagle in the eye from the distance of only a few feet as it descended heavenward with its prize, me going about 60 miles an hour and it probably going 25 or 30. It was an amazing experience. What should we make of this world of ours? It's a place of supreme beauty. Majestic forests and plains, breathtaking mountains and hills, the wonder and fragility of a child. Our man-made world is just as incredible. The glory of a hymn, the elegance of a dancer, the comfortable feel of an old roll-top desk, the intricacy of an electric circuit which can reproduce sight and sound almost exactly or in a hospital, save lives. Our world is also a place of great pain. We suffer from our own sins and mistakes and from other people's as well. The natural world sometimes deals us blows we can scarcely comprehend. This world is great as long as you're the eagle and not the rabbit. Sometimes we revel in life like an eagle soaring in God's creation, and like now with the coronavirus, sometimes in life we feel like the rabbit. How do we make sense of this world of ours? Paul seems to say in Romans that everything here works for good. Is this really true? Well, not exactly. Romans 8.28 says that everything works for good for those who love God. Julian of Norwich, after encountering God's love in a mystical vision, stated, all will be well. All manner of things will be well. The declarations of these two saints are not the silly statements of someone far removed from suffering in some ivory tower somewhere. No, both Paul and Julian lived in an ancient world where pain and death were commonplace. Paul encountered beatings, a shipwreck, and prison during the years of his ministry. Julian nearly died of an excruciating illness. When Paul and Julian understand all things work for good and will be well, it's because they have an abiding love for God in spite of their hardship. This relationship reminds them but though God reluctantly allows evil, God is completely good. God works through evil to bring that good into our lives, even good that we might not have otherwise encountered. When Adam and Eve sinned, it was a horrible thing. But then God sent Christ to redeem the world. Because of Christ's love for us and our love of Christ, God works through evil, transforming us and transforming our world. God's purpose is to draw us all into a deeper relationship with our Creator and to redeem the world from suffering and sin. So what does this mean for us Christians? It means that if we love and trust God, we need not be afraid of anything that might happen. God will bring about good from our mistakes or even our sins if we continue to abide in God's love, if we can return to God after our sin. 
Understanding how God operates, then, can empower us. For when we realize that our God works for good through all of our lives, including our mistakes and our sins, a great burden is lifted from us. Life is not disastrous, even if we make big mistakes. For we know that no matter what, if we trust God, God will bring good out of it. All because we love God and God loves us. An amazing love for an amazing world. Let's pray together. Oh God, we thank you for the beautiful world we live in and for your grace which can work good into our lives, even through evil. Help us this day to listen and speak freely as your beloved children, knowing that because of our relationship with you, good will result. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen.